How to Draw Cartoons with John Mark. Hey, it's John Mark, and welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be working on some seaweed today. I enjoy this type of stuff because it's primarily some of my projects I'm currently working on called my friend fish series. You might have heard me say from time to time working on a kid series. So I have a lot of favorite uh, elements uh, in aquariums like rock seaweed, algae, you know, uh, corals, a whole bunch of other elements in there that I enjoy doing tremendously for my series. So I thought of taking a little sidestep today and working on some uh, some seaweed. And this is a nice thing because it's an overlapping action and uh, just a low feeling so there's not a right and wrong when you're working on these little um for the seaweed it's more of a natural uh viewing right now so what you feel comfortable with so what i want you to really just feel comfortable is your stroke right now and pay attention to uh how your lines are going down and here's some little coral i would i'll play up with these here is i'm going to have some in the foreground and in a little background and i'll shade them so it gives some little dimension so it doesn't look flat some are hiding in front a little bit smaller some of them are taller and then the ones in the back, I might just shade in a little bit just to indicate that they're behind. As you notice again, I won't erase. This is just a sketch. So this is just to get a feel for um, a visual that if you like, you take it to the next step. But for me right now, all that I'm just doing is just enjoying um, with the sketching of this. And I, I put a little seaweed behind that one right there. I'm a little, making a little notch there where it's kind of like rip. And just playing up with that and going a little darker there i'm making a little bit more of a control line now but the the uh the flow that i want you to really understand is use your creativity and think if you don't know what seaweed looks like you may have to go online and actually do some research because there's a variety of different leaves and textures that um you can actually play it like these just like a typical grass blade but there are some that are really unique and fun and very colorful as well all right so what i'm doing there i'm just shading what the front seaweed is on top of that other one right there just giving some little dimension just quick little uh points there and this one in the back there i will shade the entire thing twice lightly and then also with this other seaweed this little one here that's in front so let me finish up this one a little bit here first there i get that little blade in there where the two elements okay so here let's just shade it very light overall because that's a little bit in the in the background i go further and further apart all right, and now here, this is a shadow of that actual other uh, seaweed that's on top of there. I'm just shading that in there right now as well. There we go. All right, that looks good there. And so I'm just going to be putting, let's put another one in the back there. Yeah, let's add some more depth to it. You can go, you can add a ton of them in there as much as you want to. And then let's add a little shadow on that one too, that little cutout. There we go. Yep, that looks good. There's a background of where this, the actual base of the little aquarium was. Or, hey, hey, let's do some rocks now. Okay, here we go. So the rocks are fun. I love rocks. You can form them any way you want to together, separate individually, add the lines to that, give some dimension and feel. All right, there you go. Just a little shadow just to give some dimension on there. We can have a little one on the bottom there all by itself. Let's get these a little bit darker, these little coral ones right now all right that's looking a little better a little bit more of an outline that looks good too i like that one and a little shadow on those because those are set back behind the actual ones in the foreground all right let's get those little hollow lines there a little bit more there let's get a little bit deeper with the lines let's add some bubbles so just like the randomly add some uh, bubbles floating around the water and don't be ashamed or shy to uh, overlap on the actual art like on the corner of that little seaweed so they don't have to be just all by itself and laying it out sometimes you want them touching or two or three on top of each other or actually on the element in this case the seaweed all right let's make those little stones a little bit darker all right i think we're done make sure we sign and date and thanks for checking out this video and i hope you have a great day take care our website jmg-studio.biz if you like this lesson you'll find others like this on our site we even have a store that has our drawing books and many other goodies thanks for the support